Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, I wanted to film this video and kind of share with you guys uh, a purchase that I did in store at Sephora because as you guys probably are aware they had um, a sale going on. I believe it started on April 7th and it ended on the 13th which was yesterday. And because I have the VIB roof status, I got 15% off. But after I decided to film this video, I remembered that I have a few items which I ne didn't film any videos on, uh, which I kind of purchased collectively from uh, Sephora.com. So I said I'll throw those things in too. But to begin with, I want to kind of you know, start with the in-store um, purchase because this is the reason I decided to film. So with that said, um, is from the Sephora collection, they have this new collection which is like Disney Mini and there's a few items but I personally saw this particular palette online. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, I really want this. But um, since I was going to the store anyways to use the coupon, I said I'll just wait and get it in store. So this is basically, you know, the colors and how the palette looks. What I like about this is, if you guys could tell here, there's this insert where you could stick your finger, same here. And then you pop these two things out. And you could use this as a clutch, which most likely I'm not going to use, but it's really interesting, you know, the idea they had. Pretty cool. And then um, two other things that I purchased is the first one is Minnie's Perfect Red Lipstick. And I guess it's just a red lipstick. Let's see. love how it looks this is the first time I opened it and you pop it up and oh it's so cool can you guys see like Minnie's imprint on top of the lipstick that's cute and then the other thing that I got was this uh, Minnie's inner glow luminizing blush and this is a blush looks like this then you pop it open and this is how it looks and cool again you have minis uh, imprint uh, type of thing on the blush next I purchased the new urban decay bronzers and they come into colors um, the first one is called bronze and it basically this is how they look and then the second one looks the same but it's in the color sunkiss and again it looks like this and then just the shade is different um, I kind of bought like a few things but I decided to kind of pick every shade they have so that's why there's quite a few things next uh, from Too Faced they came out with the new Sweetheart bronzer and this is the Bake Luminizer Glow bronzer this is the cardboard box type This uh, they do have uh, blushes that look like this but they released the bronzer which uh, comes in two shades basically one part is a lighter and then the other one is darker and they also released a new shade for the blushes but that I wasn't able to find so unfortunately I didn't um, get a chance to pick it up yet okay and then another thing that I picked up right here these are the new eyeshadow palettes from Kat Von D they are called shade and light eye contouring quad and they come as I said in, uh, there's four different ones one's called plum one is called rust one is called sage and one is called smoke so this were the palettes that I wasn't able to find in the actual uh, 
freestanding Sephora. I had to go to the uh, Sephora inside JCPenney and they did have them. So I was glad about that. Um, and then this is how this one's look. So the first one I open, it's the smoky one. And then there's they're quads. So they have pore shades, which I noticed one is uh, bigger. So I guess that's like the um, base uh, one. And they, since it's the base to cover your entire eye, you need uh, you're gonna use more of that than the, than the other ones that you just kind of uh, used to uh, contour or define. I don't know about the quality because I haven't used any of them, but uh, usually I do love uh, any of the you know eyeshadows from Kat Von D. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be disappointed this time either. Next, I picked up the new blush uh, trios from um, Smashbox. So they come in three different palettes. I picked up each one. So uh, they're called the LA Light. And they this one is the uh, Culver City uh, Coral. And these are basically like the, the same format and the same thing as the contour palettes but these are blushes so it's rich coral true coral and highlight coral um i guess the idea is that you have two blushes and a highlighter but for from what i'm seeing it's like everything seems to be blushes um not really highlight but everybody could use it however they want Next, i picked up from laura mercier uh, she came out with new face illuminator, um, and last year they ca she came out with the, this type of thing, um, and it was limited edition, so I picked it up, but then I noticed that that's, uh, I think those four shades, which I just picked up three because the fourth one I already have from last year, now they're permanent, but she released three more shades with this so I didn't have them and I decided to go and pick them up so the first one I got is Devotion which is this very beautiful I haven't uh, tried any of them but the one I got last year I loved uh, I like the formula I like um, the color so that's why I kind of wanted to pick up more and I believe um, this are the same formula as the one from last year is just she released more shades and then the last thing that I got from inside Sephora was when I was sitting in line to check out I ran across this this is a translucent um, bright uh, translucent powder basically you Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder. Um, you set like your under eye with it. Um, they do have the vanilla one and then I think a lavender one. But when I saw this, like it's rose. So um, I grabbed it. With that kind of said, let's move on and get into the collective haul that I did over like a month and a half or at least since the last time I posted any video on uh, regarding Sephora because I purchased a few things and here there's kind of a lot of things also that um, is the same thing but I got it in multiple colors but yeah so anyways with that said let's get started the first thing is from B Benefit and this is the Hola Hula Zero Tanning Tan Lines, I'm sorry. So this is basically their, a new item that they came out with. It's like a tan type of thing, but it's not really, like, you're not going to have a long-lasting tan. It's just um, a gel-like cream that you put anywhere you want to 
seem like you were tanning or you have a tan, but after, you know, the day's gone or when you take a shower, it washes off. So I love this. I know Tarte had something along this line, uh, a cream that I used to use for like my legs or arms uh, when I didn't really want to self tan or something like this but this I love even better because this is kind of a gel like substance and it comes with this sponge which doesn't look too big but I did use it and it was such easy application and, and then I also got from Benefit um, the um, Hula uh, what's it called it's the soft matte liquid bronze for face and um, as you guys probably know the hula is their small bronzer that everybody loves but now they came and up and released a liquid form so this is how the tube looks and this has a pump applicator which I love so I love the fact that for this they decided to go for the pump app, uh, bottle and then also they released a bronzing and contouring brush that, um, you know, goes with the particular, they are sold separately, but it's kind of the idea is to use it with the liquid um, bronzer. And I love how this kind of looks like the bottle and the color is so cool. So, okay, next, uh, Smashbox released the new palette which is called Photo Matte Eyes and this is how she looks right here Oops. comes with a double ended brush which I love Smashbox's brushes they're amazing so this basically has 14 colors 6 smaller I mean 12 smaller, 6 on each side, and then 2 base colors that are uh, double the size. I did use this already on 2 or 3 occasions, and truthfully, I love the fact that it's matte, but I feel that they don't blend all that great. So, um, you might want to... You know, I think it's like $49, so you might just want to buy the matte palette from like Too Faced or some other matte one because this, not the greatest, but you know, it might be different for other people. I don't know. Next, I got from Benefit uh, Life's Little Correction. So this is basically um, a smaller type of thing, like a tester style of uh, products that they already have in full size so they have Boeing 01, Boeing 02, Erase Paste, number 2, Medium, Lemonade, Lemonade and Eye Bright so out of all this stuff I have the Boeing um, I don't know which number but doesn't matter which I love and works perfectly but I was kind of curious in trying other products, like, but when I saw this, I was like, well, perfect, it's 20 bucks, and I could um, try different products, and if I don't like it, whatever, it's 20 bucks, it's not like I have full-size products hanging around that I'm not going to use. Um, next, I got from uh, Beauty Blender released two new things. So the first one is this funny looking thing that um, it's liner designer. That's the name of it. And according to what I read and all the hypes before being released is this little thing over here you kind of use. Here's the different options. You use it to line your eyes which I don't really use eyeliner, so I'm not the best at eyeliner because I believe that, you know, practice makes perfect. So if I don't practice, I'm not really perfecting anything. 
but yeah I decided to pick that up and give it a try which I haven't yet but hopefully soon and then next I uh, saw that they released the blush applic applicator sponge which is basically a beauty blender in a smaller size uh, and I picked it up because I do use my regular beauty blender to apply uh, cream or liquid blush so if they released one that's specific for that I said I must pick it up okay next from Too Faced they just released the melted matte liquid lipsticks which I have not tried out yet so I don't know but most likely you guys notice that everybody is coming out with liquid lipsticks these days and of course some are better than other so the ones I decided to pick out are Sellout and Child Star. Um, they have quite a few options in color range, but of course I didn't pick uh, all of them up because I need to see if they are good. Um, and they're not the cheapest ones, they're like $22 each, so this is how they look. And um, as I said, I haven't try them out which I am hoping that they are amazing but we'll see. Uh, next I picked up the Afterglow 8 hour power uh, powder highlighter sorry it's kind of tricky I can't oh like this and this is the Urban Decay new highlighters that were released a, a few months ago I know it was this year and they come in three different uh, shades. The first one is Aura, Sin, and Fireball. I like the most this color Sin because it's basically a highlighter in my opinion. Um, I did have troubles because it broke during shipment so I had to uh, go into uh, uh, Sephora and pick up a good one because the broken one was broken but yes very beautiful color I like it a lot the other two I'm not saying I don't like they are beautiful colors it's just I don't think I would use them as highlighters looks I haven't tried the this particular uh, fireball and aura yet I did try sin on my face and I love it but I might be wrong and it might just come out like very glowy and be a um, highlighter not a blush but just based on how it looks I'm saying that it's kind of colorful and I'll use it as a blush I might be wrong uh, then let's move on to Tarte Tarte uh, released came out with the new Rainforest of the Sea collection and I picked up a few of the items in that collection I didn't go all out and pick up everything yeah there's a few items I didn't so basically this is their skin tw uh, twinkle which is uh, this is the compact it's, it's called filter light so the one here is called moonlight and then this one is called sunlight and I love both of the highlighters so much that as soon as I received this and tried it out I went back online and picked up another one as a backup because this are limited edition um, next I got uh, from the same Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea the Wipeout color corrector palette and this is how this one looks Again, beautiful design on it and this is how it looks inside oh. okay next I picked up the rainforest uh, uh, rainforest of the sea aqua clear concealer and I picked it up in light medium this is how the bottle looks the one thing I don't like about this is the applicator. It's like a dofer applicator, which is like so humongous. But I guess that's okay because 
they also released in this particular collection a double-ended um, concealer brush, which is right here. So this is how this looks. Uh, looking at it right now, I think I already have this from probably a different collection, but I'm talking about like the ends of the brush. They seem very, um, I mean, they seem like a brush I already have, so. And unfortunately, that brush I wasn't too crazy about, but whatever. And the last thing from the Rainforest of the Sea that I picked up is the eyeshadow palette, which it is beautiful. Here you guys go. What a beautiful design. The only thing I'm not happy about is they're making them way smaller. You see, this is the size of my palm. And in the past, um, this is the size they used to. So, lost some of the product. But the product that it is included here, it is beautiful and gorgeous. And I love the formula too. Did wear it blends amazing so good job tart so that is kind of it for this video and for this haul haul because there were a few more uh combined together but anyways thank you so much for taking the time to watch this particular video as i always do i will uh, put everything in the description bar below so for those of you who are interested in any of the items, um, I probably won't put them in the order I mentioned them because I don't remember. There's quite a few things, but I will put everything that I mentioned in the video down below with the direct link to Sephora.com because I do believe everything, even if I purchased it in store, it is available online and for those of you that want to go shopping online, all you have to do would be click on the direct link and it would take you. And all you have to basically do is choose the shade or just add it to your basket. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. And you know, as always, the request I want to make is subscribe to my channel.